Dos bandas, estamos en un nuevo capítulo, si no mal recuerdo, este vendría siendo el tercer episodio. Y pues bueno, eh, primero que tengo que enfocarme en la misión a que estamos, que vendría siendo ir por el Krogan, que pues digamos que es un mercenario que va en busca de nuestro objetivo, que viene siendo el anfitrión antagonista. Y pues vamos más que nada a buscarlo, porque no sé dónde está este tío. Fíjense que ya había pasado por acá. De hecho, ya saqué varios puntos, incluso también ya subí de nivel, ya mejoré algunas habilidades, entonces pues supongo que en algún lugar aparecerá este tío, el Krogan. Pero por lo mientras no lo encuentro. Ok, de, del otro lado aquí es la dirección, entonces a lo mejor aquí puede estar. Shepard, what can I do for you now? Mm, no. I'll be going now. Goodbye. No me dice nada. Nada de relevancia. Y es que reitero, es que no me gusta mucho que no te marquen los objetivos en el mapa. Miren, aquí está como que parpadeando algo en el banco. Aviso diplomático, el mensaje se ha transmitido desde una cuenta no rastreable a varios destinos de toda extranet. Extra se autoriza a realizar una monitorización más exhaustiva. El compañero biótico ha sido seleccionado para recibir esta transmisión a causa de nuestro problema común. Pocos nos comprenden y menos aún nos toleran. Debemos resistir juntos, debemos construir un nuevo mundo. Ven, únete a nosotros en el cúmulo Hawking ETA. Solo si actúas como un solo ser podremos corregir las injusticias sufridas por nuestro colectivo. Vale, es que estoy viendo dónde es eso del Hawking y tal. A ver, aquí algo se nos apareció en el diario. Ha descubierto una extraña transmisión en la que se habla de una especie de comuna biótica. Al principio parece inofensiva, pero hay algo inquietante en el mensaje. Pero reitero, no sé dónde es ese lugar. Shepard, ¿qué puedo hacer para ti ahora? No me dice nada nuevo. I'll be going now. Y es que reitero, yo ya hablé con este tío, entonces ya me sé en sí los diálogos que te puede decir. Y veo que realmente aquí no está el problema, entonces me voy a mover. Y es que no, no recuerdo bien por qué, por qué me vine para acá. O sea, según yo, si iba el Krogan a estar acá o entendí mal, no lo sé. Como ayer en la madrugada, la, la verdad ya estaba cansado. Más bien hoy en la madrugada ya estaba cansado. Entonces, eh, igual esa parte ya no la recuerdo bien, que viene siendo lo último, pero no importa. Vámonos al banco, acceso al distrito financiero, porque de alguna forma aquí eh, algo está parpadeando. Entonces necesito saber qué es eso, sobre todo si hay un nuevo contenido o una nueva misión, etc. How can I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? I should go. Goodbye, my first. How can I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredible. I'm an expert in how all. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business with. Yet somehow Tell me never, more. Okay. Yet somehow he never cuadrado, seems to upset si the se, natural balance. Any guess what is I don't that? Know. However, every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you I thought play, you'd know more about the man you work with. From time to time I come across information I sell to. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. Sí, en eso yo reitero lo que dice este tío. Mientras más información, mayor es el peligro en este juego. A ver, vámonos a la ciudad. Tell me more. 
Goodbye, Commander. Ah, no, sí, sí saco, acabo, dice. How can I, I should go? Goodbye, Commander. How can I be of assistance to you today, Earth Clan? Tell me more about it. But the, yet somehow he never seems to upset. Yet somehow he never seems to up. Every Tell me more. Yet somehow he never seems to. Goodbye, Commander. Vete tío, no me dejas pasar Eso no me gusta, de que literalmente se ponen como enfrente de ti y son como piedras A ver, ¿quién es este? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think Your ambassador is next door in the large office Chastising remark Don't be... I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador Is there something I can do for you? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded. <clears throat> Details. We space. Okay. Bueno, este tío está un poco Goodbye, yes, no me va a decir yes. nada Good importante, day, solamente es histórico y realmente pues esos videos, digo esas eh, eh, conversaciones, diálogos yes, Commander, sido, eh, fuera del directo porque consume mucho tiempo. Dice Anderson, comandante, necesitas algo. ¿Qué pasó entre Sarah? You and Sarah, about 20 years. Ha dicho que según I should go. No quería una misión. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? No confiaba en él y porque es muy muy problemático según él. Pero tampoco me dice dónde mierda está la... I should go. Bueno, I'll be here if you need me. A ver, y es que... Es que es el antro, pero... Pues al parecer ahora hay enemigo. Sí, iba, iba a echar un ataque, no sé. Clear. O sea, sí está limpio, pero ¿dónde está el tío? Ah, ya abrieron la puerta. Stop right del lado de, del arco, o sea que, que se vea como del otro lado pero creo que no
I surrender? Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You've got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. You're on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Vale. <coughs> vale. Por ahí vamos. Puta madre. Lo que no me gusta es tener que repetir todo el puto nivel. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. He'll want to see this anyway.
You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. A start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about... I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. 
You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Vale, pues como verán aquí ya he reclutado a un nuevo personaje, pero cabe asimilar que también, pues, me falta el Krogan, que el Krogan, pues también había una misión donde respectivamente también teníamos que eh, encontrarlo en la academia. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. The 212? Isn't that Ashley's unit? She might want to meet Mr. Bhatia. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Reason? I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Ok, pues a ver, voy a pasar nada más de rápido, digamos que esta es como una misión secundaria, pero también pues quiero ver que efectivamente no esté la academia de este lado, porque pues quiero checar el Krogan. No, aquí no My goodness, son. you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Vale, pues no sabía que iba... I don't have time to talk now. Ah, very busy. Pero, pues bueno. ¿Qué tío? Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It's unacceptable. 
I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please, the sauna. No, no, you can't make it. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Okay, let's see who is this. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the- From the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Ok, todos los jugadores era una antigua raza de máquinas que acabó con los proteanos y después desapareció, los que lo, los adoran. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. 
He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies... You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador... Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Ok, dice bonificación de espectro, talento de entrenamiento de espectro desbloqueado, no sé qué significa Pero también ahora ya soy un espectro, lo cual está muy chévere Y sobre todo pues como verán aquí también estoy con mis amigos, mis compañeros, mis fieles leales y pues bueno, yo me veo hasta la próxima. Yo soy Terca, espero que te puedas suscribir al canal y nos vemos en el siguiente episodio.